This is Bubba Roundtree Outdoors. I'm your host, Wade Rush. And yeah, guys, you've asked me, and I've heard you. I've had several subscribers ask me, do I ever reload for turkey hunting? Well, the answer to that is yes. Uh, I have been working on some loads for about the last three years. We've developed a, a two and three quarter inch and a three inch load that has really been a cormorant killer. Uh, would work well with ducks and geese also. I'm gonna show you how I put it together. And then we're gonna, uh, I'm down here at the range, I'm fixing to shoot them for you guys. But right now, I'm gonna take you to the reloading room and show you how I put them together. Then we're gonna come back here and I'm gonna show you how they pattern. So stand by. This is Wade Rush with Bubba Round Tree Outdoors. Always remember folks, whenever you reload, that reloading can be hazardous if you make a mistake or don't know what you're doing or haven't researched what you're doing in great detail. Always remember that what I'm doing here, I've researched, tested, I've gone to reloading manuals, to trusted forums, and gotten this information from trained shooters and seasoned reloaders. So remember, you reload at your own risk. What I do here is not reload data. This is just what works for me. I appreciate it, guys. Enjoy the reload segment. Okay, guys, it's almost turkey time. And yeah, I had gotten, hang on, having to lean down way too far. There we go. A uh, lot of inquiries about did I do any reloading for turkey hunting? Well, the answer to that is yes. Over the last three or so years, I've done a, a quite a good bit using uh, steel BB shot. I mean, yeah, the 6,000 thing of BBs you get from Walmart. For now, I picked up another 6,000 day for nine dollars. I think it was back there in Sporting Goods for 6,000 steel BBs. I think you guys are gonna be right impressed what you see at the range. But uh, what you're gonna see down there at the range in the two and three quarter inch, I loaded the high brass Kent field holes. This is a Grand Italia by Dana and another Italian hull right here. But Remington Nitro high brass will work. Uh, Remington Field will work. And in the three inch, I'm using the green nitros uh, because that's what I get from Mr. Bill Calwas. And I'll put uh, a link to his email down there because uh, he can hook you up with some three inch hulls. I can't get them around here. He's the he's in uh, up there in upstate New York, and he has always got them anytime that I needed them. Okay. Well, I've already decapped the three inch and one of the Dana, and the only two powders we use 26 grains of IMR 800X and 33 grains of long shot in both the two and three quarter inch and the three inch. I like simplicity, guys. Simple stuff that works. And when I find that that works in both rounds, then uh, that's what we go with. There's no need in getting real technical with it. And this, uh, we've got, this is the ticket for your steel. These multi-metal wads from ballistic products. This is a two and three quarter inch. I have them both in two and three quarter and three inch. And they are the split wad. You see the, see the split on them right there, guys? Go ahead and put together this two and three quarter inch mag. Okay. All right, Moose boy, I have been busy with this stuff this week. Got my bench is a mess. All right. We're gonna drop 33 grains of long shot. Then take this multi-metal wad, two and three quarter inch multi-metal wad, get it worked in here like that. Make sure you tamp it down the powder good, okay? Now, get our Walmart BBs and are you, you see where the, with the light there, can you see the wad comes right to the top of the crimp, right there? You want to just fill the wad up. You don't want to overfill the wad. You want to fill the wad up because it, so it'll keep that steel encased in the wad. Just like that. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. And then I just write what it is, uh, write BB on here and the powder charge so that I know what it is. Whenever I'm loading BB, these are the only wads that I use whenever I'm loading turkey or duck or geese loads, then I know that's the wads that I'm using or the multi-metal. All right, let's put together a three inch. I've already decapped it. And we will put 26 grains of IMR 800X and we'll get a 3 inch we'll get you so you guys can see your part number hope you can see it right there a little wrinkled up but it's the 3 inch multi metal from ballisticproducts.com I've already got a couple laying out here where we've been working on them all week Get him started in the hall here. Down on the powder, and now just fill fill the wad up with BB shot. See why I had to go to Walmart today and get me a get some more BBs. I'm about to run out. Just fill the wad up, and that comes to ounce and a quarter of steel here. Just over one ounce in the two and three quarter inch, ounce and a quarter right here, and three inch. There you go, guys. Beautiful round. All right, let's go back to the range and see how to shoot. We are shooting the twin Stoger M3000s. I have modified choke tubes in both. The black gun has got the Carlson improved modified that mics out. It is advertised at .701. I mic it to point six nine seven this is the internal choke that came with this m3000 here and it mics out at six nine nine they're almost identical in size both rated for steel and that's what we're going to be shooting today reloaded steel and bb we're at 40 meters we're going to be shooting some expensive primo show and see targets at 40 meters, which is a respectable turkey shooting distance, guys. Right now, it seems to be that the powder that is coming available as Hodgton is beginning to fill some orders. So IMR and Hodgton seems to be coming online. We were able to get some 800X and some Hodgton long shot, some IMR 800X and some Hodgton long shot. They're both same company. But what we've got here, is I've got some two and three quarter inch mags with just over one ounce of steel using the, the Ballistic Products multi-metal wad, 33 grains of long shot pushing uh, the steel, just over one ounce of steel in a two and three quarter inch mag. We've got an ounce and a quarter of steel in the three inch. Well, I don't know if you can see that with the light messing with us guys, but we also have the same amount, 33 grains of long shot and 26 grains of 800X pushing an ounce and a quarter of steel into three inch magnums. Okay guys, here come the shots. For the first shot, I'm gonna shoot two and three quarter inch mags. First two shots, I'm gonna shoot out of the camo Stoger with the modified 699 constriction modified rated for steel. The actual choke that came, one of the three chokes that came with this gun 33 grains of long shot, just over an ounce of steel shot, BB size. Same BBs you buy in bulk at Walmart. All right. And we are at 40 meters, which is a pretty respectable distance for turkeys.
It is definitely a magnum load, buddy. Looks like it hit a target pretty good. Let's go look at that shoot and see target. I've got a camera rolling down there close, so you already got a pretty good look at it. Let's go get the target. Well, there ain't no doubt he's a dead bird. One got him right in the eye. Another one right under it. Another one right there. There's three pellets in his actual skull. We've got two more here in the neck, in the bird. That one just grazed him. But now this is BB size shot. This is really big stuff. There's no doubt, looking at the target, that is a dead bird. All right, well, let's, let's shoot it with 26 grains of, uh, of Herco and see what we got. Now, this is 40 meters, too. That's a pretty long shot uh, for turkeys. All right, let's do the next shot. All right, second shot is the 26 grains of 800X pushing just over an ounce of BB shot. That one, you can tell the difference in the two. That one wasn't as hot, hot, but not as hot as the uh, is long shot. Let's go get the target. Wow, look at the pellets in this target here. But there's one already in the spine, another one there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine BB pellets actually in the bird's neck. If you count the ones that hit him in the waddle, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and one took out his beak. That is awful good coverage that is definitely two dead birds bb here or right here next to the spinal column here 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 one in is right under his brain right there that's the one right there that would have just put his lights out very good i would be very confident turkey hunting with that out to to 40 meters no doubt now we're fixing to shoot the big boys three inch magnums are up next ounce and a quarter of steel bbs all right we're going to set the old woodland stover to the side for the black gun. This has got the Carlson improved modified 697 constriction rated for steel. We'll just go ahead and shoot the uh, the 33 grains of long shot first. Yes, sir. That was the smackaroo right there. Well, we have another dead bird. Two right there in the brain pan. One, two, three. Right next to the neck. Three, four. Another one right there in the spine. Two more in the neck here. Still definitely a dead bird. We've got three dead, three shots, three dead birds. Really good coverage here too, guys. I'm really tickled with that. All right, let's shoot the last one. Last shot is 26 grains of 800X pushing an ounce and a, ounce and a quarter of steel, three inch magnum with the Carlson improved modified 697 constriction. Hopefully we'll have four dead turkeys for four shots. All right, shot felt pretty good. Well, look at there, guys and girls. We are four for four. Another one, one, two, three, four. That one's scraping his skull, but right there, that's, I mean, those three right there would have been more than enough. There's another one there in the spine, another one here in the spine, another one here in the neck, in the vitals. One, two, three, four, five, six BB shot in the kill zone, in the head and neck. And look at the group. Look at the pattern. That's just, that's awesome. Very, very tickled with that. Okay, guys. Well, I hope that helps you out. That was a fantastic test. I was really tickled with that. Four shots, four definitely dead toms there, guys. So, 
Some of you guys are already starting. Ours opens up in April. Turkey season is right around the corner, or let me get out of the shadow. Right around the corner are already getting started, guys. So good luck this turkey season. This is Wade Rush, Bubble Round Tree Outdoors. Until next time, bye-bye.